What's up everybody, Frank the Tank here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I'm going to show you how to fly with the firearms. Coming up. Before I start the videos, I want to introduce myself. My name is Frank the Tank. I am a pro step shooter for a Canuck and Sentry Arm. And in this channel, I'll be sharing with you my personal experience in shooting competition like this one. Canuck upgrades some really cool stuff that I found on the market. So if you want to watch more, consider subscribing my channel for more videos to come. And before we start it, this video is a little bit special. So if you want to fly with the firearms, make sure to check out the TSA's website for the most update. And also consult with your airline's website as well to see their most update policy. You guys ready? Let's start it. All right, so right now you see a hard case. This is a Pelican uh, 1400 series. Uh, this is one of their deep, deeper case. Uh, this is very, very good for um, putting multiple firearms. You can have two or four um, because they have two layers of PE phones in there. Here's the thing about case you want to choose. Uh, a lot of people will think, oh, I'll just get the hard case with a phone in it. but there's a difference between the PE phone and a PU phone. So the PU phone is this kind of material, it's softer material. And PE phone is more like a hard phone like this kind. I just want to show you how I pack my firearms when I go fi uh, when I travel to different states for shooting competitions. TSA require a hard case with lock, a locking system that you can lock the case and you, you're the only person to access the firearm, not the TSA. So um, you cannot use a TSA lock for sure. So you can just go to a Walmart, Home Depot to buy a just a simple lock like this kind, as long as you can lock into your case. This is how I pack the gun. Uh, I usually ship uh, my ammo separately because I can carry more ammo. I went to Bend, Oregon, uh, flying from Salt Lake. And um, I have, I, I thought, I think I, I brought 800 rounds for this trip. So if you think about it, TSA also said um, in their uh, policy, you can only bring 11 pound ammo. So 11 pounds of ammunition for flying, okay? And that is basically, <laughs> I calculate around like 200 to 250 rounds of ammo. And I mean, it, it's great. You can bring that lots of ammo. If you want to bring like 250 rounds of ammo, that's perfect. But since I shooting a 16, a 16 stage, three days match, that's about, uh, the round count is about 450. Uh, ended up by shooting 600 just because um, I have some issue with my red dot. That will be another story. I will be posted in the future. So stay tuned for that as well. Back to this, uh, this is how I, I pack my firearms. The first layer, second layer. When they, when I bought this uh, gun case uh, from Pelican, uh, it comes like a hard block, a PE block. So it's a huge. So I saw there's a different layer. So I started to chop it in the middle. So that's why you see on this side. So see every every layer is perfect. And this is how I do my second layer. I have one, two, three, four, five, five magazines ready. I cut it uh, on this side uh, I was thinking to do like utility box so we're just going to cut a big box but I'm not sure yet I might put in another magazine slot over here just because I might bring a second gun over here in the future you never know okay that just me so anyway the second layer I do it just I put the magazine in there I cut the magazine slot over here and 
here's the thing. On TSA's site, they also require, they say you can bring ammunition as long as it's in a original, okay, original case. For example, if you buy the Freedom Munition or you buy like Remington, they have an original 50 round box, you can use that and put it in, okay? Or if you're shooting competition like me, um, usually I reload my own ammo. You can buy those plastic uh, box, okay? Those kind of box is considered also a uh, original box because that's stored the ammunition perfectly. Or, okay, you can put it in a magazine like this. So once you put everything in, you're just going to close it, okay, as you can see, and you can use this or normal lock. Remember, no TSA lock. If you wanna fly with your gun, don't bring a TSA lock. So just lock it like this. See that, it's pretty pretty tight fit. So if, you, if I try to open it, it's not even moving. That's, that's the, that's a lock you want to use. And you're the only one have the key. Bring this key to your back. Once you check in, uh, you will see the video. I'm going to bring the gun checked in. Um, they'll give you some instructions. So just follow the instruction. So they give me a card like this to put it on, on top of the box and then put it inside a suitcase. It's called the firearms unloaded. So basically just kind of like declare that your firearm is unloaded. So that's the card. You need to put it on the top on the case. So this is how I load my stuff um, when I fly to Oregon. So I basically just bring the gun inside the case like this with the lock and put it in your suitcase. So I bring my all my range bag, my cap, my competition belt, holster, I already take it out just because I'm trying to like fit my clothes in there. That's why. I, buy, I brought my shoes. This is my range bag. So if I go to the range, I can still have my ammo. I can still have like regular stuff I usually shoot with. So my magazine can put it in uh, to my range bag. So I don't need to like bring the really heavy case around. But when you fly, this is how you're going to bring. And depends on person. I just like to put it together. Okay, my shoes, our case, right, and put it in, close it, zip it up, and ready to go. All right, so right now, let's head to the airport, and I'll show you exactly how to check in. So after you pack up everything, um, you're going to travel to the terminal and you're going to fly with the ticket counter. Uh, you're not going to drop up right away. You cannot do self-check-in. You have to um, go to the full service for the, uh, for the ticket counter of your airline and you're going to tell them that you're going to declare an unloaded firearm. You cannot just say, oh, I have a gun on me. They're probably going to arrest you. but. Yeah, so the most important thing is you need to tell them you need to declare a unloaded firearm. So let's check it out. Hello. How are you doing? Good, good. Declare the unknown firearms. On Salt Lake? Yep. And your ID? Okay. There you go. So sign and date that way. All right. Um, let's grab the pen over here. Back to I'll see you back in Salt Lake. All right, so I guess every airport is a little bit different. Um, I'm flying from Bend back to Salt Lake, just finished my competition. So I think it's because it's a small airport, so maybe they don't really 
checked it, but when I fly from Salt Lake um, to Bend, Oregon, I need to basically show them, show the TSA the unloaded firearms in my suitcase. But flying back, yes, to just take it and then just drop it on the bill. So go to the TSA. All right, so just path through the TSA. So I guess everything is pretty simple and easy. So I might just see my baggage back to Salt Lake. All right, guys, so I'm back in Salt Lake City. Um, right now, I'm just going to see where is my luggage with my firearm. So hopefully it made it back. I'm here in the, the baggage claim over here. As you can see, it's not on the belt, and again, depends on the um, airlines, depends on the airport. They might treat it a little bit different, but it's fairly, really, really simple. Um, I just went to the ticket, uh, the baggage office of Delta, and then I gave them my uh, ticket, well, not my ticket, uh, the tag, my luggage tag, and the ID. I get in my ID and my my tag and tell them, hey, I'm just going to bring my luggage. And they say, oh, firearm? And I say, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. So, show them the ID and the tag. They confirm it's me, and then they take me to the back of their office. Um, just say, hey, which one is yours? And then that's mine so it's pretty pretty easy i guess that's everything for the videos and if you want to watch more click the videos on the right and if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you want to give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up otherwise i hope you guys uh shoot safe on the range and i'll see you guys next time